morning, everyone, and welcome to City Church Clan. I am so happy to see all of you here in person and online. My name is Bella, and I'm your host for today. We are going to start our celebration in just a few moments with our worship team. If you are here online, please join us in our praise and worship. Make this time a special moment for you and your loved ones. And be sure to engage with us. We want to see you singing out loud with us in the comments. Yes, good moments should be shared. Please like this live video and be a blessing to your family and friends by sharing this wonderful worship experience on your Facebook page. Before we begin, please join me in this short prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for everything you have given us. And please bless the people that are online and here at church. And please guide us and lead us to the right way you taught us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you guys ready? Let's pass this time to our worship team to lead us in a powerful time of worship. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to church. Let's stand. You ready for worship? Come on, let's stand. No. 
for now and forever. Lord, we just want to thank you for your presence right now. And we just want to focus on you. We just want to give you thanks and give you praise today, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Christ is my firm foundation.
Church, we partake the Holy Communion. We are declaring our stand with our Lord Jesus Christ. Choosing Him publicly before the kingdom of God. I just want to read from 1 Corinthians 11 to 26. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. Amen. Church, each time we partake communion, I want us to remember what it means. The bread is his broken body that was given up so that we are made whole. The cup is the wine or Ribena that you're holding is a symbol of his blood that was sh spilled on the cross so that our forgive our sins are forgiven past present and future how amazing is this church because he has paid the ultimate price today we rejoice in his life let our lives radiate this let us love one another like how Jesus loved us. He showed us how much he loved us when he sacrificed on the cross. Let us break every stronghold in Jesus' name and release forgiveness to one another in Jesus' name. There is nothing, church, nothing bigger than the price Christ has already paid for us on the cross. If everyone has already received their emblems, 
those watching us from home, you can get a, a, a cracker or something to drink and partake with us. Let's pray, church. This morning, church, as we pray with our emblems in our hearts, Lord Father, as I partake this bread, which was your broken body, I'm receiving complete healing, Jesus, from back pain, cancer, or whatever sort of addiction. Declare it, church. Declare what healing you need to the Lord. Because as you declare in his word, Isaiah says, by his stripes we are healed. Believe in that. Let's partake the bread. church as we partake the wine which we have in our hands the Rabina it's a cleansing of our sin Jesus paid the price for us when he spilled his blood on the cross Father, Father God help us not to carry around burdens of unforgiveness in our hearts Jesus weighing us down Father Lord break every stronghold Father, that each of us have in our hearts, let us release, release forgiveness this morning, Father, because you forgive us first, Father. In Jesus' mighty name I ask, church, let's partake the uh, Ribena. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the healing that we have already received. Thank you, Father, for the divine protection. Thank you, Father, for breaking down strongholds, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your body and your blood, Father. Thank you, Church. Believe that you have already received the healing. Walk in faith, Church, that you are already healed. Thank you, Father. Thank you for opening closed doors, Father. Thank you for your life that was given up for us, Father. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name I ask. Amen. Amen. We'll pass the time now for altar call. Thank you. That was so good. That was so good. We're going to open the front here, altar here, to be open for prayer. Like we have said that every Sunday we want to pray for the needs of the people. Huh? Whatever, we want to give God space. We want to give God time to move, the Holy Spirit to move in our midst. Amen? Amen. So, we're going to ask you to come forward. Whatever needs you may be going through. You know what? I feel in my heart that there's many of us are struggling in that place of doubt and unbelief. And that's where the enemy comes to try to draw us from that place of faith into the place of doubt. That's why we need one another in church so that we can pray for each other. We can stand in prayer for each other. Yeah, you don't have to reveal your details of your needs, but you just need prayer. You come forward. It doesn't matter who you are, all right? So as we're going to sing the chorus again, we ask you to step forward and uh, me and the uh, leaders of this church are going to stand with you in prayer. Hallelujah. Because we're going to access the supernatural power of God. Prayer, prayer is a source of power. So we invite you to come for prayer. Amen. We want the children to come. We want the youth to come. Amen. We want the families to come. So come right now as we pray, as we step up. And uh, connect leaders, please come. Please come and stand here and pray for these people. Huh?
Sketch, please be seated. Welcome everyone. If you have just joined us, my name is Bella and welcome to C3 Church Clang. I would like to take a moment at this part of our service and take out today's offering. If you are new here, the offering is simply a chance to financially support what we are doing. It's also something God our Heavenly Father has called us to do as an act of trust. You may have never thought of giving as an act of trust, but it is. When you give, you are basically telling God, I trust that you will provide for me even as I give. And the great part about this statement of trust is that it's true. God can be trusted to sustain you even though you have a little bit less. We learn to trust and lean on God to provide for our needs. Giving helps us let go our hold on money and the benefits that we can provide for ourselves. Giving helps us release the anxiety and place our trust in Him. Matthew 6 says, Our Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need. Matthew 6 verse 32 to 33 For all of you here in church, our stewards will be passing the buckets around. If you would like to participate in today's offering, you can put something in the bucket. Please do give generously. If you wish to give online, scan the Do It Now QR codes located on the wall. If you are watching our service from your screens, just scan the QR code shown here. If you are watching our service from your mobile phones, our bank details are displayed on the screen. Take a screenshot and save the details for giving online later. Thank you so much for your generosity in working with us for the glory of His Kingdom. There's a lot happening at our church, so let me take you through a few announcements. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Make sure to stay connected with us throughout the week online at C3 Church Clang on Facebook and Instagram. We believe God has something unique to say to you and our hope is that you feel His love stronger today than ever before. Thanks again for being here with us. Back to you worship team. Jesus here. Amen. Are you excited? Jesus is here. And so are you. God bless you. Huh? Please be seated. Thank you, musicians. Thank you, singers. We had a vision month of uh, January, but it looks like I'm going to continue sharing on the vision of our church. Today I want to talk about Culture, kingdom culture. What is culture? 什么是文化呢? Look up there. I think it's going to be up there. So I help you to see in culture is the way we do life. 
文化是我们一种生活的方式。It's your value system. 是你的价值观的体系。It's our collective ideas, our customs, our beliefs that shapes、uh, the behavior of a group of people. 是我们的集体观念、习俗、信仰塑造了一群人的这个行为。It's how you respond to life, to relationships, to work, to money. 这是你对生活、对关系、对工作、对金钱的这个反应。In fact, it's a preset value that you carry in your heart that determines how you do life every day. 这是在你心中预设的这种价值观，决定了你如何的生活。So your family has a culture. Your school, your business, even our church has a culture. 你的家庭、你的学校、你的工作环境，甚至你的这个教会，都有它的文化。But today I want to teach about the kingdom culture of God. 今天我想教导关于这个神国度的这个文化。Which is how heaven functions, how heaven actually operates. 这就是天堂如何运作的方式。All right, that's why Jesus taught us to pray this prayer. And what did he say again? Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. Amen. 所以耶稣这样教我们祷告：愿你的国降临，愿你的旨意行在地上，如同行在天上。I told you it's not about kingdom eternal meaning. Oh, one day I'm going to heaven. That's the kingdom of heaven where everything's going to be perfect. But it is kingdom now. <laughs> 这无关这永恒的这国度，就是未来你要去的那天堂。而是关于现今在这里的事情。We are told by Jesus to believe, to expect, to see the breaking in of the kingdom of heaven on earth. 我们被被教导，我们要祈求，要相信，被为天国全能进入地上而奋斗。That's what the good news of Jesus is all about. When Jesus was on earth, he was declaring about the kingdom of God, the gospel of the kingdom. 当这个耶稣在我们地上的时候，就宣告了这个好消息，这个天国的福音。The kingdom means the king has arrived. The king is here. Satan is defeated, and God's dominion is restored, and God has reconciled us back to the Father. 这就是说，这个君王来到了，君王在这里，撒旦被击败了，神的统治得以恢复。然后迷失的人也与天父和好。Amen, amen. Do you know the entrance or the entry point of the kingdom of God is through repentance, and repentance is really meaning change your mind, change of heart here. 进入这个神国度的入口是通过悔改。悔改什么意思呢？就是意思意味着思想和内心的改变。So we all need to understand what God's kingdom is all about. All right. And it is understanding and doing life of the kingdom here. We need to embrace that culture of the kingdom. I know we have all different cultures coming from a Chinese or Indian or whatever, but his culture, the kingdom culture, is the ultimate culture that we should follow. All right, and how is going to happen? How is it going to happen? We got to renew our minds. All right, what we were taught growing up. In our culture, I mean, some cultures are beautiful. Like we're going to celebrate Chinese New Year soon, and I love it. I love going home to celebrate Chinese New Year with my family. We all have different cultures. There are Chinese, there are all kinds of cultures. But we want to live in the kingdom of God. We need to embrace the kingdom of God. We need to renew our minds. We need to learn from God. We need to become like God. That's right. If your culture or whatever culture that we were brought up in, if your culture or whatever culture that we were brought up contradicts the culture of heaven of the kingdom of God, then we've got to change, all right? <laughs> 如果我们从小我的文化呢是跟这个国度的神国度的文化有冲突呢，我们需要改变我们自己。We've got to renew our minds and start to think the way God thinks. 我们需要更新我们的思想，学习如何像上帝一样的思考。We've got to approach. Earthly things through heaven perspective as sons and daughters of God. We must use God's daughter's mindset, use from heaven's mindset to deal with these earthly things. So we need to learn today how do we function? How does the kingdom of heaven functions and operates? We need to understand how God's kingdom works. 
so that we're going to be able to bring in the manifestation of God's kingdom, which is measurable. 那我们就可以以衡量的方式将神的国度彰显在地上。Now we don't want to just hear a whole lot of things just in theory, but we are not experiencing the kingdom life. We don't want to just hear this theory, but we want to experience the kingdom life. That's why Jesus said this: If I cast out the demon by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come. So Jesus just said, "I cast out the demon by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come." So Jesus just said, "I cast out the demon by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come." So Jesus just said, The kingdom, ah, when the kingdom appears, the demon left. This is can be measured, is it? Yes. How? When the demon left, the kingdom of God came. So I don't want to just teach you some theory. I want to teach you something that you can measure it for yourself. I want to teach you something that you can measure it for yourself. And it can be applied into your life and into your home and into your school or whatever wherever that you are. So it can be used in your life, in your school, in your home, in your school. That's right. So the next question we need to ask is, where are we going to operate this kingdom? We are going to operate this kingdom. 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 God just doesn't want it to be there. That's why He created us so that Earth will be the duplicate of Heaven. God not only wants to be in this heaven, but also to be on the earth. So He wants to be on the earth like the earth is on the earth. So He wants the kingdom culture of Heaven to influence, to be transferred into every sphere of society, in families, in schools, in our education, in our business, in medicine, in media, in politics, in governments. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. 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 So whether the society realizes or not, they are really looking for solutions from the kingdom of God. This, 无论社会的是否知道，他们都在寻找天国所带来的解决方案。We are king. We are people of hope. How many of you are people of hope? Can I see your hand now? Amen. <laughs> 我们都是充满希望的人。有多少人是这样的人呢 ？We live under the size of our God, not under the size of our problems. Amen. Hallelujah. We live in the size of God, not in the size of our problems. People are attracted or they gravitate to hope when they can sense hope. People are attracted or they gravitate to hope when they can sense hope. That's why the greatest influence you can have is hope in your life. The greatest hope is in our lives. The greatest hope is in our lives. The people with the greatest hope are the people with the greatest influence. 拥有最大希望的人呢，就拥有最大的影响力。Have you noticed all the news is bad news? <laughs> Have you noticed that everything you can hear and see is bad, and which is true? They are predicting that it's going to go bad, from bad to worse. But we live not just in this kingdom; we live in the kingdom of heaven that operates here. Hallelujah. 我们听到、看到的消息通常都是不好的，可是我们不是生活在这里而已，我们在生活在神的国度里面。So I want to warn you not to go too much into the news and everything, huh? You can be so engrossed with what's happening. I was at one stage until God, Holy Spirit, showed me stop, stop doing that because I was controlled by what I see, and that's why you know it becomes a Uh, how should I say? A heaviness and fear uh, starts to anxiety starts coming into my heart. I encourage you not to take news 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 That's right. We're people of hope. That's why Jesus was on earth. People were attracted to him because he brings a message of hope. And today we are sent out the same way that Jesus was sent out. 
呃，上帝呃，耶稣在这个地上的时候呢，很多人被吸引到他，因为他带来希望。现在我们也是要一样，为大家带来希望。So let me ask you, how does the kingdom of culture or the kingdom of heaven operate? 这个天国呃，神的国度的文化呢，如何发挥作用呢 ？As we as believers, we are designed to operate in the kingdom of heaven twenty four seven. 我们的我们作为信徒呢，需要在全天候都是在神国度的文化里面运作。Not just here in church, which is mostly hidden from the world, but it's out there, outside of these four walls in our schools, in in our workplaces, in our homes. 不只是在这教会里面，我们教会大多数都与世隔绝，人家是看不到的。我们必须在我们的家庭、我们的社区、学校、工作场所呢，发挥这个影响力。I like the scripture Isaiah 60 verse one to three. If you can look up with me, it says here. <laughs> All right, can we read together? I find that when we read the scripture, that the, there's an anointing there to receive. So read with me. Say, can we do that? Arise, shine. Let's、read together, together. All right. Arise, shine. I can't hear you. Louder, everybody. Arise, Arise shine. shine, for your light has come,、ah. and the glory of the Lord, Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and His glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah! Come on, go ahead. 让我们看这个以赛亚书第六十章第一至三节。赐安呐，起来发光，因为你的光已经来到。耶和华的荣耀已升起来，照耀你。看呐。黑暗遮盖大地，幽暗遮蔽万民，但耶和华要升起来照耀你，他的荣耀要彰显在你身上，万国要在你的光中行走，列王必在你如旭日出生的光辉中行走。That's right. Every believer, every one of us is meant to take this kingdom culture everywhere that we go. 我们每个信徒都都都应该随时随地的接受这种神国度的文化。This is something intentional that we must do, a choice that we must always uh, uh, choose uh, to carry the kingdom of heaven. 这是有意而为的，是我们这要永远的选择的这个选择，做这个选择。That's why the scripture says what you arise, you arise, and let the glory of God be seen upon you. 所以这个圣经就说了，你复活了，神的荣耀就会显现出来。So if you take a stand in this time of、uh, darkness, that in this deepest darkness of great difficulty and、uh, challenges, instead of hiding in fear, let's stand.、Huh? Let that glory of God, the culture of heaven, be seen upon us. 呃，如果你在这充满困难跟挑战的黑暗时代挺身而出，而不是躲在恐惧恐惧里，让这个神国度显现出来。Because you can't see the kingdom of heaven, it's invisible. It has to be manifest through you, <laughs> because you are the carrier. Hallelujah. 因为神的国度是看不见的，是通过我们，通过你来显现出来的。So when the beauty of the kingdom of heaven becomes visible, people are going to be drawn into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. 神国度的美丽才会变得看得见，通过我们看得见，这才会吸引更多的人来到这个进入这个神的国度。I want to announce and proclaim and declare that Jesus is the owner of the church. 我要宣告这个耶稣呢是这个教会的主人。Not your senior pastors, not the financial board, not the future SLT, not the elders. Jesus is the owner of the church. Amen. 不是牧师们，不是长老会，不是这个呃领袖们，而是耶稣才是教会的主人。So if Jesus is the chief shepherd, the cornerstone of this church, then this is His church. Amen. Hallelujah. 这耶稣呢是这个牧长。这才这是他的教会。So we don't get to pick and choose the values that we want. 我们不能挑选这个神国度的这个价值观。We got to go to God and ask God, because that's because He designed the church, 
And so we don't try to copy somebody else, copy another church. We got to ask God because this is His church. We need to look at the kingdom of God. We need the kingdom of God. operates. I want to tell you the church is not the kingdom of God. Like you're shocked. What do you mean, Pastor? You look around at all the churches, all the mess that you see, you think that's how the kingdom of God is? That's why people get so disillusioned and they get church hurts constantly because it's not. The kingdom of God. We are only the vehicle, the church is a vehicle that advances the kingdom of heaven across the nations. So what's the fuel? What's the fuel that we take the kingdom of God? How do we take the kingdom of God wherever God calls us to go? I have an example to share about Netherlands. Do you know that Netherlands has grown like uh, grow 85% of the world supply of tulip flowers? And an interesting thing about that. Is that the climate of Netherlands is not suitable to growing tulip flowers? So what have they done? They have created greenhouses all across the country where the the ecosystem is just right to grow tulip flowers. Similarly, we live in a world here that is not suitable for the kingdom of heaven. But when we, the people of God, the church, cultivate the right culture of kingdom culture, like the greenhouses that Netherlands built, then we can flourish even in the hostile environment in this world. Our families will thrive and prosper in spite of what's happening in this world. Right. Amen. Our marriages are going to thrive. We're not going to follow the, the, the environment of, the, of our nation, of the world, where there's so many divorces until they don't even believe in marriage anymore. <laughs> So we need to take that kingdom culture out there. We are not going to adopt their culture. Uh, some people, they stand for nothing and, and they, they think, oh, it's, it's advancement. This is advancement. We all just have to go with the culture, flow with the culture of this world. That's right. There Kingdom cultures, and I'm going to share with you. Of course, there's so many, but today I'll do six. Okay, kingdom culture or kingdom values that we want to cultivate in this church and in our lives. Okay. Today, today, I want to share with you, and I hope you will enjoy it. Okay. 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 When you, uh, when you face crisis in your life, ask yourself the question, have we prayed about it? When you face crisis in your life, ask yourself the question, have we prayed about it? 
But most of the time, what do we do? We talk about it, don't we? Huh? We complain about it, huh? but we don't pray about it. 很多时候呢，我们是谈论他，我们抱怨他，可是我们并没有为他祈祷。And the last resort is to turn to God in prayer when really prayer should be our first response rather than our last resort. 最后，最后呢，我们才去为此而祷告。祷告应该是我们的第一反应，而不是最后的这个手段。Jesus said, "This house is going to be a house of prayer. Every church is meant to be a house of prayer." 耶稣说这个就是一个祈祷之家，每个教会都应该是一个祈祷的家。He didn't say it's a house of feasting, although I like feasting. A house of uh, praise or worship, uh, whatever. It is. He said he only said one thing that the church is a house of prayer. 耶稣并没有说这个是宴会的之家，也没有说这个是赞美之家，而是这个是一个祈祷的家。So this value shapes. Our church, you notice that we have pre-service prayer, we have Thursday prayer, we have altar call prayer and church service, and more so we're going to do it, huh? Because we believe in prayer, uh, the power of prayer, and we have the 40 days of fasting and prayer, and we are empowering and equipping you to have your personal prayer as well. This 祈祷的价值观呢，就是说到了为什么会有礼拜先的祷告啦。我们有呼召祷告，我们有团体祷告，我们有呃进食祷告，我们鼓励和装备每个信徒呢，每天都有一个秘密的时间和神一起祷告。
the supply lines, isn't it? That's how they do warfare. They are how to do warfare. They are how to do warfare. So the enemy is smart. You know, he also has the same tactics. He knows that if he cuts off the supply line, then what happened to the front line? We'll be defeated. The enemy is very smart. He knows that if he cuts off the supply line, then what happened to the front line? We'll be defeated. The enemy is very smart. He knows that if he cuts off the supply line, then what happened to the front line? We'll be defeated. The enemy is very smart. He knows that if he cuts off the supply line, then what happened to the front line? We'll be defeated. Only then can we win in the front line, at our workplaces, at our, you know, in our relationships. 这样呢，我们嗯 ，go ahead。这样呢，我们才在我们工作场所、在人际关系的前线里面得胜。We need to guard our private life of prayer because then your public life is going to take care of itself. 我们必须保守我们这个私人的这个祈祷的这个场所、这个时间，那你的公公共的这个外面的这个场所就会照顾到自己。That's one. That, that's the first culture. Second culture we talk about is God's word is our foundation. We just sank. You know. 第二第二点呢，就是神的话语是我们的基础。When we are at a crossroad of decision, what's the question we should ask is what Does the word of God has to say about this? When we are in our life, when we face a decision, we need to ask God what He has to say about this. It is not your opinion. It is not my opinion. Or consult somebody's opinion. This is not our opinion. Your opinion or this is my opinion or this is the opinion of other people. In fact, the Bible says the heart is deceitful. Above all things and desperately wicked, who can understand? 圣经说，人心比万物都诡诈，坏到极处，谁能识透呢 ？You can't really understand your heart, do you? 你连自己的心都不了解，是吗 ？The greatest deception of the enemy is, oh, follow your heart. 嗯，这敌人最大的欺骗和谎言就是跟随你的心。If you are Struggling with a decision or a direction, you need clarity. Do you know who you should turn to? The Holy Spirit, because He's the Spirit of Truth. Amen. When you are asking for direction and trying to figure out a clear path ahead, you need to go to God's Word. He will fill you with that Spirit of wisdom and revelation. He will fill you with that Spirit of wisdom and revelation. He will fill you with that Spirit of wisdom and revelation. He will fill you with that Spirit of wisdom and revelation. He will fill you with that Spirit of wisdom and revelation. God is also going to bring you teachers and bring you disciples into your life. He will bring the great teachers and disciples into our lives. So don't build your life on opinions of culture, or this culture, or that culture. So don't build your life on opinions of culture, or this society, or whatever. You just sang the song, huh? The firm foundation. A foolish man is one who builds his house what? On the Sand, sand, huh? The shifting sand of society and culture and opinions. So, don't build our lives on this kind of cultural and religious opinions. This is the old world. And so, every one of us, if we hear the word of God, then if this is the word of God, this is God's word, then we are to do the word of God. We'll be like a wise man that builds on a rock, the absolute truth of God's word. 我们要跟着神的话语来来过过我们的，来做我们的选择，这就是把我们的生活建立在磐石上。磐石上。Very quickly, the third kingdom culture is making disciple is not optional. I just preached that message a week、uh, last time, right? Okay. 第三个神的这个国度的文化呢，就是门徒训练不是可选的。Turn to your neighbor and say, "You are a disciple maker." 跟着你旁边的人说，你是这个训练门徒的人。The Great Commission, go and make disciples. It's referring to all of us. It's not option. It's a command that Jesus gave to us. 这个大使命呢，是一个命令，不是一个可选的东西。So the question we need to ask is, who are we discipling? 我们要回答的问题是，你在训练谁呢？ You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to invest into the lives of somebody else. You need to understand how important it is to
如果你本身不是门徒呢，你就无法去训练其他人。We all need to speak into the lives of others younger than us. 我们需要去教导其他比较年轻的人的。We all need to be teachable. We all need to be humble. 我们也必须要受教，并且谦虚。So, so how does it look like to invest into others? 这投入别人的生命意味着什么呢 ？You can invest into your children, your grandchildren. Amen. 可以是投资在你的孩子、你的呃孙孙身上。Other people's children, do you care about them? Do you do you spend time with other kids? 别人的孩子，你们有花时间在教导别人的孩子身上。Or young people. 年轻人。What about your employees and your your workplaces? 你的员工呢，在你工作场所呢 ？Huh? So many places that we can invest into. 在很多时候、很多地方，我们都可以投资我们的时间在别人身上。You know, it makes such a big difference. I want you to see that that your word to a child can change their lives forever. 你对这个小孩的这个话语呢，教导呢，能够永远的改变他们的生命。And also understand the reverse that when we when people are careless with their words, they can damage the lives of a child. Forever. 当人呢用不适当的话语来跟这个小孩讲话的，他能够破坏他的生命。So I encourage all of us that we take what our investment, what we speak into people, make sure we speak the right words. If we have spoken wrong words, then we have mercy, God. I will cancel every word that is spoken over our children, I know, or what the teachers have spoken over our kids,、huh? calling them all sorts of names, huh? Yeah. 我们要小心，我们对小孩子说的话，如果我们说了不对的话，我们祈求上帝来，来呃取消一切他的那个呃作用。Parents beware, you know, some sometimes it may not be from you but from the school, huh? Where the teacher keeps saying you're so stupid, you're so stupid, you're you're good for nothing and all. So whenever they come back, we have to pray over them, cancel every word that people have spoken over our kids. 我们身为家长的呢，也是要小心。有时候不只是我们所说的话，可是是别人，或者是老师对他们的孩子说的不好、不好的话，讲他蠢啊。Because they spend so many hours out there. Do you know how much time you spend with your child? Huh? An hour over dinner. That's all, probably. And that they are out there, twenty-four-seven, listening to all this garbage and what people speak over them. 你要知道，我们的孩子呢。大部分的时间在外面、外头听到别人对他们用的不好的词语，可是我们只是花很少的时间，我们需要为此而为他们而祷告。That's why I thank God for children's ministry. Our kids alive. Okay, how important that ministry is, huh? I'm telling you, sign up for children's ministry. All right, that's the most fruitful ministry you can ever be doing in the church and in your life. 我们要感谢我们的这个。儿童的施工，这个 Kids Alive 的施工，请请加入我们这个 Kids Alive. I understand this because I was a product of Sunday school. It was not for my teacher. I don't know where I would be today. All right, isn't isn't my pastor? It was my Sunday school teacher that spoke into my life and changed my life forever. 我也是经经曾经经历过，是我的那个呃儿童施工的老师啦，影响了我的一生。Okay. <laughs> Sign up for Connect Group leadership as well. Speak into the lives of your your the members of the church. 来注册成为这个小组的组长呢，这个用你的话语来影响你的组员。啊 ，Looks like I may not be able to finish all my culture. The fourth culture, this is very important. Okay, I want to spend time on this. Is that miracles are normal? Everybody say miracles are normal. Hallelujah. 第四个这个文化呢，就是奇迹是正常的。So you answer the question: Is the supernatural part of your daily life? 你要回答这个问题：超自然现象是我日常生活的一部分吗 ？And if you say yes, do you know you're declaring spiritual warfare against the kingdom of darkness when you believe that? 当你说是的时候，你这正在宣战着属灵战争。You see, to a humanistic, to a scientific, to a logical person or a mind, they will look down on somebody who believes in supernatural in miracles. 对于这种人文呢、科学、逻辑思想、思维的人来说，他们会看不起这相信奇迹或者超自然属灵的人。
You see, human philosophy is all about what you can do with your own strength, your own ability, your own rational, your own logic. 在人类的哲学呢，就是你可以凭你自己的力量来解决很多的问题，就是通过你的理性跟逻辑。That's why you need to understand you are not of this world. You are in a part of another kingdom that's invisible and that is most that is superior. Hey. 你必须明白，你也是属于另一个国度的一部分。那个是一个一个超力量的一个国度。I remember when I experienced the miracle of my watch. Huh? I mean, uh, after I share it, it's like the enemy really bombard my mind. Say, are you sure? People will laugh at you, lah. Huh? What kind of miracle? Something that's lost can suddenly appear, huh? Right in front of your on your on your dressing table. Huh? You're imagining things, lah. People will, you know, that's what the enemy wants, and he because he wants to attack us to to not share our testimony because people might think you're crazy, huh? <laughs> 曾经我有这个呃呃，我这个经历呢，就是我手表的突然间。出现会有人跟我讲，你你这个是你自己的幻想，你你不要分享这个，这个不是奇迹。Well, it's too late. You can't argue or convince me that miracles is no no. You are too late if you think you can convince me that miracle does not happen. I've seen too many things in my life. I've seen it in my family. I've seen it in church. And all these years that I'm a minister, I've seen so many miracles. Hallelujah. 你无法反驳我的。我担任的牧师那么多年，在这施工中，在我的生活，在我的家庭，我们看到太多太多的奇迹了。So we want to cultivate, we want to develop that in C3 churches to be a house of faith that believe God for supernatural power of miracles to manifest in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. 我们要培养 C3 教会成为一个信仰上帝的家，让福音的超自然力量彰显在我们的生活当中。So I'm so glad to hear testimony of the testimony of the testimony of miracles of healing, of provision, of breakthroughs, you know, in our church of protection. So amazing, huh? So encouraged every time I hear that. 我很高兴，很很很觉得很鼓励，听到很多关于这种见证。关于医治，关于供应，关于神的拯救跟保护。What's so beautiful about it is that it's not just shared within a church with the media now. You know, your circle of friends are going to hear your testimony, huh? And that's why we have like Matthew, uh, putting up on our Facebook his testimony. His crowd will be listening to and say, "Wow!" And he doesn't even need to open his mouth to share about his his、uh, testimony. Just putting on media. People hears about it. How good it is this nowadays, huh? The 更更棒的是呢，不止我们分享的这种见证呢，不止在教会里面，而是现在可以通过这种社交媒体，还有没有丢弟兄的见证，能够通过社交媒体让他认识的人都听得到，都知道。So if he has done it once, he will do it again. Amen. All right. <laughs> 如果他神已经做过一次呢？ I want to encourage every single one of you to believe to release miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue to create miracles because God wants to manifest His kingdom. I want to encourage you to continue Thank God! Thank God! We live in this miracle-working kingdom, huh? Hallelujah! 感谢主，我们生活在这个创造奇迹的这神的国度里面。Quickly, I'll go to my fifth kingdom culture here. 然后来到第五个文化。Love gives generously. 爱慷慨的给予。Am I growing? The question you need to ask yourself is: Am I growing into Christ's likeness? 你要问你自己这个问题：我们是否长得越来越像耶稣呢 
So the closer we get to Jesus, we are supposed to be more generous, huh? 我们越靠近，越接近耶稣，我们应该应该变得更慷慨。Because you are never more like God than when you give. 当你给的时候，你是最像耶稣的了。So I don't understand how Christians can, after so many years, still be so stingy, so miserly, so miserable, huh? How can? Never. 我有时候不明白了，有些人信奉耶稣、基督很多年。可是会变得越来越吝啬，越来越悲惨。And I'm not talking about just finances, ah.、Huh? Generosity is more than finances. 我我不是讲仅仅的涉及这个财务，这个慷慨呢，不只涉及财务。Generosity is about how we honor people with encouragement and with our words. 这个慷慨呢，也是可以通过鼓励来尊重别人。No, so you can't say you love someone and you don't give. 你不只能说你爱某人而不对他们慷慨。How many of you believe your husband loves you and then never gives anything to you? 有多少人相信呢？你的丈夫爱你，可是什么都没有给你。啊 ？God 啊 ，You never sacrifice anything for you. 有吗？他还没有为你牺牲些什么 ？And can we believe somebody say, "Oh, I love the church," but they never give anything? <laughs> you never made any sacrifice for the church. 你相信有些人说啊，我爱这个爷，我爱这个呃教会，可是什么都没有付出。Yes, let's make sure that our、uh, love comes with generosity because love without generosity lacks integrity. 因为慷慨，没有慷慨的爱呢，就是缺乏诚信的。Yeah, so, hmm, the world is looking into the church. The look, world is looking at us. All right, huh? Whether you like it or not, they're always looking at Christians. This world's people are always looking at our church, looking at how we live. They're going to see how generous we are with our time, with our words, with our praise, with our prayers. How do you operate this kingdom culture? Not just in church, out there, in your home. All right. This world's people are always looking at how we live, looking at how we are generous. 我们如何的赞美，如何的言语，如何我们利用我们的时间，如何我们运作，如何我们做我们的行为。I come from a family where not one word "I love you" ever came out from my parents' word mouth. 我我的家庭里面呢，我的父母从来不会说一句我爱你。How many of you come from a family like that as well? Ah,、huh? <laughs> yeah, we don't. It's not that I I I don't know that they love me. Ah,、uh, I know they provide for me. They they care for me, but they never say that. Without their mouth, I I know they don't love me. They care for 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 me. They But we of the kingdom culture, we change. My family now, which I love, <laughs> my mom will say it again and again and again, and we hug each other. How did we change from a family that doesn't talk to each other, never say love to each other, huh? All we do is shout and scream <laughs> to the family that we. Careful. I'm not saying perfect. I've got crazies in my family as well. All right, you have crazies in your family as well. 神的国度呢？如何改变我的家庭呢？从一个从来不说我爱你，每天在争吵、大声说话，变成一个每天说我爱你、每天拥抱的一个家庭。So I want you to start practicing and cultivating the generosity in our church, in every one of us. 所以我希望你们开始这实践这种呃慷慨的行为。Take somebody out for a lunch. Yeah. <laughs> 带其他人去吃午餐。Yeah. Huh? Throw parties. <laughs> 对，举办的聚会。How many of you throw parties? Come on, Easter is coming. Another party is coming up. 哎，我们在，要我们大家都举办这个聚会。Help somebody. 帮助其他人。Give to our missions. Give to the poor. 给这个宣告宣教机构或者是穷人捐款。I want to say the last one is. The last one. Let me bring you the last one. Okay, there's so many lah. I have to like decide which one to share. I want to share on this one. The kingdom culture is that the church 
It's a spiritual family. Hallelujah. This church is a spiritual family. The question is, am I growing in a sense of belonging? 我我的归属感是否在增强呢 ？All of us in this room have a need for belonging, don't we? Huh? We are wired that way, huh? We are wired to have community with others. 我相信这里每个人都都需要有这个归属感，这是我们被设计出来的。我们需要一个社区。When people don't find a real thing in community, in kingdom community, do you know what? They will choose a partial thing, which is maybe going meeting somebody at a fitness club, or maybe going to a pub, or going to a, a club, or going to a pub, or whatever, huh? To meet each other during the weekend for a drink. That's fine. 当人们没有这个真正的神的国度的社区时，他们就会满足于次等的事情，就好像去健身房里面，或者是去每个周末跟朋友去夜总会见面。The church should demonstrate what true community is all about. 这个教会呢，就会显现真正的社区是如何的。That's why we have got connect group after our service. I mean, after our preaching. 所以我们就在这个礼拜之后就有小组的联系。I know it's something not common, ah. Huh? That's why people say, "Why, why do I need to go to a connect group?" You know. 对，有些人会认为呢，会问呢，为什么我要去这个小组聚会呢 ？Because we need community. 因为我们需要这个社区的联系。You know, any one of you just grew up by yourself with no community, no family members, nobody helped you uh, growing up, huh? Any one of you? I don't think you will be alive here now, ah. Huh? You will probably be dead if nobody cared for you. 有没有人在成长的时候，这一个人过呢？没有朋友，没有社区，没有家庭呢？我看你活不到今天。So that's why we need connect groups. 所以我们需要这个小组。Maybe you don't want to join a connect group because you might see some, you might, you might meet some crazy people in there. Huh? How many of you are scared? <laughs> ah, crazy people. 可能可能你不想去参与这个小组，可能你会怕遇到一些。呃、uh, ，神经病的人。Oh, may not 神经病。Oh, may or maybe maybe you don't want to be in a connect group. Maybe you you maybe people will find out find out about me. I don't want people to know about me. 或许你不想去这个小组，你不想人家来认识你，不想人家来来认知道你的秘密。It's safe to be in the house of God because all of us are crazy some way or other. Hey, how many crazies here? <laughs> 大家都在某些方面都有一些神经病的现象。It's safe to say we are not all together. Hallelujah! Every one of us have some form of dysfunction. Do we? <laughs> 我们每个人都有个人的这种呃呃缺点。Only when we're in heaven we will be perfect. <laughs> 我们在天的时候，我们才会变得完美。Even your pastors are not there. <laughs> 甚至你的牧师也不在那边。Pastor is a little bit crazy, Pastor Joe 啦。啊 ，Pastor Joe 也是有点神经质的。So it's safe in the house of God. 所以这个就是在这个神的国、神的呃教会里面。It's safe to get involved with each other's lives. 是很安全的，是我们这掺入、加入个人的这个生活里面。Honor and celebrate everybody who they are, and don't stumble over what they are not. 我们要尊敬跟庆祝每个人的这个本来这个面部，不要执着他们不是的那个人。Ah,、uh, this person is not like that. You know, the pastor is not that. This is not that. We only like the point finger of what people are not, instead of celebrating what they are. 这个你你会觉得啊，他不是这样子，牧师你不是应该这样子的人。我们要去庆祝他们的原本的面目。How would you like if your husband say, "How come you're not like so and so?" Ah,、uh? talk to you as a wife. Hey, why you are not like somebody else's wife? Huh? Insulting me! Well, your husband will tell you, "Hey, you why can't you be like other people? Why can't you be like him? You're a bully." What about wives telling their husbands, "Why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, you marry him. Why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Since you like him so much, why can't you be like so and so husband? Then you marry him, lah. Don't get upset of what they are not, because we are all not there yet. We should accept and honor each other. We need to honor and value everybody because we are all created in the image of God. Amen. Can I have a loud amen? Because we are all created in the image of God. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? Because we are all created in the image of God. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? Because we are all created in the image of God. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? Because we are all created in the image of God. Amen. 
I love this church because honor is not just one way, huh? It is 360 degrees. We honor the older, we honor the children, we honor one another. Amen. That's why we love staying in church. In fact, <laughs> every Sunday we have a hard time chasing people away and off the lights. Hey, I have a time to go home, time to go home. I know it's because we just want to hang out with each other and talk to each other. Even the coffee tastes super nice, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's nice lah because Yvonne. No, no. I mean, the, the hospitality team makes the coffee so nice. Even if it's a small thing like a coffee or so, oh, it's so lovely to hang around and talk to one another. 甚至咖啡都会变得美味，人家只爱待在这里，跟跟大家一起联系。So I hope you treat this church like your home and not like a hotel. Hmm?我希望你们对待这个教会呢，就是好像你的神的家一样，而不是像酒店一样. And if you are new, we want to embrace you and receive you as part of the family of God. Hallelujah.如果你是新的，刚来到加入我们呢，我们希望拥抱你。Amen. Amen. I want to close and we're going to pray together. Kingdom culture is not going to just happen accidentally by default. No. If we want our, our church to huh, demonstrate kingdom culture, then we have to intentionally build it into our church. If we leave it to chance, most likely we are only going to grow weeds. Our church is not going to be a beautiful garden. It's just going to be weeds constantly having to pull out. How many of you like weeding? Huh? Never ending. Huh? Oh, very irritating, right? Huh? That's what's going to happen if you leave it to chance. But when you tend to the garden, it's beautiful. So, so start cultivating the kingdom culture in our lives. Amen? Don't leave it to chance. 不要, 不要让这个机会去决定它. Whether it's in your family or in your marriage, all right, don't spend the rest of your life pulling out weeds. Huh? <laughs> Every time it's troubleshoot. Why are huh? my, my family is constantly problem, 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 problem. 不要，不要，就要在你的家庭里面付出，而不是要只是在解决那个呃出来的问题而已。Cultivate the kingdom culture. 要培养这个神国度的文化。Tend to your garden. 去付出在你的花园里面。We have a responsibility to represent Jesus and His kingdom. Amen. 我们有责任代表神跟他的这个国度。So stand with me, everybody. 来跟我一起站起来吧。How many of you today will say yes? I commit myself to cultivating the culture of heaven. 今天谁能够讲我要付出我的这个呃能力在这个呃神的国度的文化里面？That's right. It's a commitment that we make towards God. 这是我们对神的这种呃应许。This is your church. 这是你的教会。Say with me, this is my church. That's right. You don't wait for somebody else to do it, you do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. We do it. Every one of us cultivate that culture. Bring it into our homes. Bring it when you go to work. Don't don't leave it at home and leave it in church. Alright? Bring it to your office. Wow, how come the office is so becoming like the church, huh? <laughs> Bring it into your neighborhood and start hugging people and then the whole neighborhood starts hugging people. <laughs> Whatever it is, we carry the culture of heaven today. Hallelujah. How many of you will say, yes, I commit myself to do that, Pastor? I, how many of us will say that to God? I want to bring heaven culture down to earth. See your hand. Don't point finger at other people. Why it's not working in our church? Why it's not working in our home? It's because of my wife, because of my husband, because of so and so. No, we all have a responsibility. 
So let's pray right now and say. Say together with me, Lord Jesus. Help me to carry this anointing. This kingdom culture. Into the earth. We commit today. To bring the realm of heaven. Heaven culture. Into our lives. Into our family. Into our marriage. Into our work life. Into our community. Hallelujah. Let your life and presence permeate into every place. We ask you right now, Holy Spirit, to release the life. To release the power. To release the glory of your kingdom. Through us every day. Activate in us. Your glory. So that it can go into the world. So that we can make disciples. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That we belong to your kingdom. That you love us so much. That you put us in a spiritual family here. To love one another. So that the world will know that Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are King. That we worship and adore. Heaven, come down. Invade into my life right now. And let that culture flow out of me. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give heaven a. Let's give God an awesome praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, church. I know today I've taken more time than usual, but we're going to break out into our connect groups right now. I know it's, if you don't want and you can't stay for connect group, it's perfectly fine, but we want you to be part of a connect group and please stay for the connect group. So everybody look up and uh, let us uh, discuss the questions that are up there. And let's have coffee and tea. It's going to be served. Yes? Already? God bless you. We'll see you again. Bless you all. We love you all. And see you soon. Huh? Again, again. Yeah, come on. The old, older people or the elderly uh, can sit on the table. You are the VIPs in our church. All right? <laughs> yeah. And you need a drink or anything. Please help yourself on the t at the table. <laughs>